Surrender. Withdraw your mutants. Humble yourself before the king. You'll save many lives. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits. Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection, all remain unknown. Words, words, words. Let me remind you, there is death, but there is also choice. I shall not look back. I shall find Salamandra and fulfill my destiny. You were wrong. I come for the soul of someone whose path often crossed yours as it was written. You may fight me, but the end will always be the same. Death. The question is, whose? I cannot be killed. You can delay your end, but it will come. Let us tend to the one already dead. Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kaer Morhen, an omen of its downfall. I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You brought death upon Raymond, endangered Shani, mindful only of your goals. Chaos followed in your wake. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword. You helped create the foundations for the Order's fanatical reign. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. Vizima blazes. The Order and the Scoia'tael bleed, Tamaria. Does your neutrality not taste bitter? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersberg is mine. You dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. Never. This is between him and me. You aim to kill him anyway. True, but for my reasons, and they are nothing to you. Clear off while you can. Go before it's too late. You want to fight me? So be it. Your flight from death ends here. Draw your sword. I was afraid you'd suggest chess.
That sword is for monsters. You're awake, Geralt. I was getting worried. Dandelion? Where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Long enough. The fighting has been quelled. Foltas has regained control. However, Triss supported him. The effects have been shocking. Is she all right? She's fine. She stayed by you until I arrived. Then she had to go. You know, political duties. Caught between the king, her sorceress friends, and her personal life. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter. So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control inborn abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed, you've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? Only now do I feel my new life beginning. Born anew, baptized in blood and fire. A new ballad? Sounds too pompous, Dandelion. Take a look around. Life is simple, unpredictable, and beautiful. That's something new. You returned from the netherworld, got entangled in a real mess. You faced beasts and bastards who did you harm. And you're telling me life is beautiful? You're exaggerating again. Something ends, something begins. I'll take the last of the stolen secrets, take a deep breath, and move on. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. It seemed the conflict between the Order of the Flaming Rose and the Scoia'tael would turn Vizima into charred ruins. Foltest, however, found a solution. He let the two sides bleed each other. The Order's power waned quickly following the Grand Master's mysterious death. The flower of elven youth perished, fighting in Vizima's streets. There were no victors. The non-human uprising weakened Temeria, and Foltest realized he would need capable diplomats. Triss Marigold became a royal advisor. Sorceresses gained influence. The king punished or exiled those who had plotted against him in his absence. They were, of course, soon replaced by others. Common folk saw no difference. They were too busy licking their wounds, seeking loved ones. Few people knew what had actually happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia. Yet, they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely. Temeria and Redania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Farewell, sire.